health care is a big issue in our country right now. I think nobody believes that health care is in good shape. Everybody acknowledges that there's a problem. There are people who don't have insurance and there are people who have insurance who are paying horrendous amounts of money per month, some $500 a month, some $1,000 a month for their insurance. So there's two problems. There's access to health care, one problem, but then there's the expense. Sometimes just increasing the access to health care doesn't make the expense go down, so we may well be spending more if we increase the access. The question we have to ask is, is the problem with health care right now too much government or too much capitalism? We have to decide, do we need more government involvement or less government involvement? The first thing you have to acknowledge is that about 50% of all health care now is distributed by the government. Medicare and Medicaid comprise about half of all the money spent on health care in our country. The thing about Medicare and Medicaid is the prices are fixed. There is no competition. If you have Medicare and you go to a doctor, the price is fixed. You can't shop around for a doctor who offers less of a price. It's actually illegal for the doctor to, over, to offer a lower price. So there's really not a lot of capitalism going on. We have to ask ourselves, how in our marketplace are we able to distribute cell phones for $14 for a cell phone, and yet we can't distribute health care and have any kind of competition? The difference is, when you go to buy a cell phone, you pay cash, and there's, so there's competition. When you go to buy your health care, it's either the government pays for your health care, or you pay to an intermediary, a third party. The insurance prepays, and then they pay for your health care. So you're not directly paying for it, and there's no price competition. Well, we say, how do we get price competition involved in health care? One way is to have higher deductibles. For the government-run health care, we could have higher deductibles so people pay cash when they go to the doctor, and then the prices, we have said no more price controls, we let the doctors adjust the prices, and then the prices may be lowered through competition. It does work in some parts of health care. Look at contact lenses. You can get six contact lenses for a little more than $20. My prices are about the same as Walmart because I have to compete and people pay cash. Look at the price for elective surgery like LASIK, where you have surgery for nearsightedness. It's competitive and the prices have come down because people pay cash. It's not prepaid by their insurance. The other question is, what do we do about the uninsured? They say there's about 46 million people who are uninsured. Should we co totally throw out the current system, throw out all private practice and what's left of capitalism in healthcare and say let's let the government do it because of these 46 million? Well, let's examine who these 46 million are. A third of the 46 million make more than $50,000 a year. They're choosing not to get health insurance because of the cost. A third of those who are uninsured are actually eligible for Medicaid. They're eligible for government assistance, but they either haven't figured out how to sign up or have chosen not to sign up for the government assistance. So here we're looking at a significant segment of the 46 million uninsured who really there could be a solution for them. Medical savings accounts are a good solution for those who make more than $50,000 a year and have no health insurance. These are something that can be promoted by changes in the tax code. Really, we need to think and look at the problem specifically before throwing out our entire health care system. The answer to health care, and what I say is, let's look at how we get capitalism involved in the marketplace. Let's don't throw it out and give it to the government. One thing to think about before you throw over health care and say, let's have some one bureaucrat control it, think about how good they were at distributing water after Katrina. If they can't even distribute water, do you want that guy in charge of distributing your health care? Let's think about bringing capitalism back and not adding more government. We'll talk more about it, but look on my website. We've got some good papers on health care and what we ought to do with it.